Hi, my name is Katie Maxey and I'm a registered dietitian with Brenner Fit. I want to show you a really quick and simple recipe, black bean quesadillas. All families seem to enjoy this recipe and it's great if you need a quick meal on a weeknight when you have lots of things going on with your family. So let's get started with this black bean quesadilla. I've went ahead and I've warmed the skillet and we have a tablespoon of oil ready to go and so it's warming. You're going to take two cans of black beans and rinse and drain them. I'm going to take one can and put it in our bowl here. And so with this one can of black beans, you're going to take a fork and you're actually going to mash it um, and get it really thick. So some people, if you have a potato masher at home, you could use a potato masher for this or you can just use a fork. This is a great thing for kids to do. So if you have a four-year-old or up a five-year-old or even teens, they can help you with mashing these black beans. So we're almost done. You just want to get most of them soft. And we're going to mix the other black beans back in with these that we have just mashed. So now let's add in the rest of them. And then along with our black beans, we're going to also add in a half a cup of salsa, an entire cup of cheese. We've chosen to use the Mexican blend cheese, but you could also use Monterey Jack or just a cheddar, a sharp cheddar. We're going to give this a stir, get it mixed well. Again, this is a great thing for a younger kid to do as well. They could mix these black beans and salsa and cheese together. And to finish it off, we're going to do about an eighth of a cup of cilantro. And then we'll add a tablespoon of lime juice. And then once this is well combined, we're going to put it as our filling into a quesadilla. And each family member can actually make their own quesadilla and figure out how much filling they want in their quesadilla. So we're going to put a little bit in one right here. And you fold it in half, mash it really well, and then you're going to put it into the skillet. And notice the sizzling that you can hear with our oil. And that means our pot was actually, our skillet was ready to go. When you hear that sizzle, we've laid something in there. So you're going to leave the black bean quesadilla for about two to four minutes and flipping it to get it kind of good and um, thick and where it'll fold and stay together. So while that one's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. Go ahead and add it to the pan. And push these down. Now to go along with our black bean quesadillas, we want to add a little bit of extra. So if you're thinking of the balanced plate, you want to make sure you have a protein, a grain, a fruit, and a vegetable. And so in this recipe, our black beans and our cheese would become our protein. And then our grain is going to be the tortilla. So we want to make sure that we have a fruit and a vegetable. We did add a half a cup of salsa, so that's a little bit of a vegetable. But if you think of the balanced plate, it's probably not going to take a fourth of that plate. And so we will probably want to add a little bit more vegetables to this dish along with the fruit. So you could add mango as your fruit. You could add pineapple, whatever fruit sounds good. And if you want to add a little bit more vegetables, you could just use a steamable pack of vegetables. You could add a tall salad with this. Just anything that you think sounds good with our quesadilla. Some people will even add some extra onions or some jalapenos into this. You can kind of make it your own. So you want to flip and try to make sure that your ingredients do not come out. So these are almost done. I probably got this one a little bit too done. So you want to watch this. Now this is one that a teenager could help with or a middle school age child, probably not an elementary school, a five year old is probably not going to be able to do this. Um, so making sure that the skills that you um, give your kids or the tasks that you give your, your kids are it's appropriate for their age. So once we feel like these are toasted and good, we're going to take them off and then you can actually use a 
pizza cutter to cut them into little quesadilla wedges. You don't always have to use a knife. So if you have a pizza cutter at home, it's a really quick and easy way to make a few cuts into our quesadilla. And again, just put this on the plate. Make sure you add a fruit and a vegetable, and that will make the plate more balanced. I hope you enjoy the black bean quesadilla with Brenner Fit.